and went to Carleton University, where I studied space systems engineering, and then moved on to the University of Toronto, where I continued to study space engineering. My research was focused on developing new satellite technologies for debris mitigation. After my master's degree, I actually started working before coming to my PhD. So I got to build hundreds of space devices. I got to design them, test them, and a number of them are now in space, orbiting us 15 times a day. In my PhD, I'm hoping to contribute to the global effort of planetary exploration. And in particular, I wanna help Canada bolster its position as a world leader in space robotics. So I'm here at Queen's to switch gears a little bit from what I was up to in the commercial sector and really get into the nitty gritty research of autonomous robots for the exploration of the moon or for Mars. I'm also really interested in doing my PhD because it's a really good opportunity for myself to develop as a leader, as a mentor, and as an educator. I first heard about the Vanier Scholarship when I was applying for my PhD. When I heard the results, I was pretty stunned. Had read it a few times. I immediately shared that with my wife and my parents. So uh, Thomas and I connected at a Tim Hortons. Not too long after that, Thomas decided that he would join us here at Ingenuity Labs at Queen's. I knew Thomas was a special guy from uh, that original meeting at Tim Hortons. Um, he's also got a really great mixed background. It's a good theoretical or technical foundation, but also comes along with uh, some maturity in terms of his experience in industry. Even in his short time with us, has reminded me that to be a good researcher, you need to also be patient. I was lucky though that I found Dr. Marshall because he also has experience in robotics in natural terrain. So with Josh, I'm able to get that technical supervision, which is really important to the success of my PhD. And I'm hoping that I can connect current researchers as well as graduating researchers with the burgeoning Canadian space robotics field. My favorite thing about being part of the Queen's community is getting to be involved with some of the undergraduate teams here. Kingston is a wonderful and beautiful city. It's located on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee, and it is truly an honor to get to live and learn here in this wonderful space.